Deep in the Central American tropics, on an isthmus between the world's 19th largest freshwater lake and the vast Pacific Ocean, a remarkable transformation is taking place. People who in the past had virtually no chance of finding work are now employed. Vast areas of forest that were earlier clear-cut and exploited are now being sustainably replanted. Tens of thousands of fertile acres that were open spaces are now becoming newly planted managed forests where environmental and commercial harmony can coexist and wildlife corridors and dedicated areas are being created for the protection of endangered species. The company behind these important developments is Maderas Futuro, a dedicated tropical timber producer with a social and environmental conscience. The commercial arm of the company focuses on growing and harvesting precious hardwoods. Our number one commercial focus as far as being in the timber business is to provide quality hardwoods that the world's markets will demand. The social focus creates competitive jobs for local people and helps sustain local communities. Most of the family that we uh, uh, support because you know all the workers, we have around more than 100 people working, you know, every guy is one family. So it's a hundred family support for each guy. You know, they have a, a future now. They thinking they can send the, 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 their children to school. They can make a plan as a family. They, they can have a future working with us. So they are happy, very happy to be working with us here in this project. Madera Shichiro understands that future world demand for timber is exploding due to global population growth and bridging that gap could be achieved by bringing like-minded people together who cared as much about the planet as they did making money. So rather than just take current existing forests where trees have grown naturally for centuries, we're moving into areas that are wide open spaces and creating new forests. Nicaragua was chosen due to its remarkable developments over the past 25 years Recently ranked the safest country in the region and a World Bank top pick for business investment, the country is experiencing a tourism boom and is positioning itself favorably for strong economic growth in the future. They need the agriculture businesses in Nicaragua. They're highly promoting it. The doors are open down here. They're, they're, they're welcoming the world to come in. Tropical hardwoods in this region grow a lot faster than anywhere else in the world. We're in the most perfect location to grow the type of uh, hardwood products that we produce. And one of the things about timber that people just don't understand is for the last hundred years, it's been one of the best performing asset classes there is. In fact, from 1980 through 2007, it was the best performing asset class, period. What we're trying to do is bring the average investor to an asset class that makes sense. Demand for precious hardwoods is increasing. Developed nations in Europe and North America face overwhelming infrastructure decay. China and India are experiencing unprecedented growth. The world's shipping channels are carrying more and more cargo. And with Nicaragua recently announcing a new canal, Manufacturers are pouring into the country, adding even more pressure to the already deforested areas. One of the things that I like about timber is the fact that as the planet's population increases from the current 7 billion to as many as 10 billion by 2050, one of the things that we're not going to have a lower appetite for is timber and timber-related products. The appetite obviously is going to be higher. So I want my money and I want my clients' money in an asset class that the population of the planet wants more of, but the supply and the demand are ever widening. The company's founding ethics are based on a responsible approach that includes people, planet, and profit. Each must share, each must benefit each other. What I personally found the most important thing about coming to Nicaragua to do any business is to realize that we are going to have an impact on the local community. And we're in a region that that impact can be pretty huge. 
we're able to employ people that really don't have an opportunity to find jobs because there's not a lot of jobs around. We're bringing experienced people in to do what they know how to do best that was taught to them by their fathers and their grandfathers and it helps our wood product in the end result be of high quality and that's the most important thing. We feel like, uh, you know, everybody is a kind of family, friends. When we work up on the field, we feel that every worker, you can talk to them. Uh, it's like uh, your friend and they're, they're doing what they need to do and they're uh, happy to be with the company. In line with Madera Futuro's founding principle, natural forests must remain intact. So the company focuses on only planting on areas that have already been cleared or were once used for cattle or other agriculture. So for us, our approach is pretty straightforward. It's a three-pronged approach. We think about people, we think about profit, we think about the environment. And so planting here, educating the public here, uh, employing the workers here, every aspect of that is seriously thought about and synergistically built. Madera's Futuro understands that by treating people kindly, caring respectfully for the planet, and planning for profit just as passionately, success becomes a natural byproduct.